Mm-hmm. This speaker needs some help. So today I'm going to be replacing the uh, foam surround here, which is completely rotted away. This stuff is just it's just falling apart. So I got a replacement surround from speakerworks.com and these guys sell them individually. This is a, uh, a 12 inch uh, subwoofer driver from a Genesis servo subwoofer. It's one of these servo type amplifiers and so it has um, a, a pair of feedback jacks as well as the actual driver jacks and then the amplifier you know sends us electrical signals that's, that that uh, make the speaker go to exactly the right position so I've never done this before so see how it goes the first step is to remove the old surround I don't think that's going to be difficult on this speaker <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna, I'm going to remove this gasket here too. The uh, speaker mounts on the backside actually in the cabinet, so I don't know, I don't have to really worry about preserving this gasket all that much. Okay, so as it turns out, this is a polypropylene woofer cone, and uh, the directions say that to get the best adhesion, you should put a little um, super glue made for plastic on there. So I'm going to put some of this on, and then it says to let that dry, and then you can put the actual speaker surround adhesive over that. So, whatever, give it a try. Okay, and the next step is to uh, apply the adhesive to the speaker cone and then also the surround. And it says to uh, kind of spread it out with the brush a little bit. I'm pretty sure this stuff is just Elmer's glue, although I don't know. that you might have to raise the, uh, the cone up because the resting position is kind of lower and the surround won't stick to it. So I'm going to pack that thing up with some paper towels or newspaper or something. Okay, so after five or ten minutes the glue becomes tacky enough where you can kind of pinch it down and it stays put. And uh, this thing will hold it in place until it's fully dry in an hour or two, it said. And I've got the the woofer cone kind of packed up with paper to to raise the whole thing up off the basket so that the surround is kind of fully supported by the cone and uh, this will make sure that there's no gaps or anything and it's almost it's actually pretty pretty stable already but I'll give it another half hour hour to make sure it's fully cured and then we'll glue the surround to the basket okay so I didn't show the um, gluing the edge of the surround down to the basket. Um, basically I just went around and put some glue in there and then squished it down. And to clamp it I put a whole bunch of steel nuts on there just to kind of weight it down while it was drying. Uh, one of the tricks is that you have to move the cone to make sure everything is centered. So before putting these nuts on here I had it just sort of loosely glued and pushed the cone up and down 
a bunch of times to make sure the pole piece wasn't rubbing or the coil wasn't rubbing on there. That seems fine. So I'm going to take these off and uh, should be done. Oh, actually, I'll glue the um, the gasket back on there, the, the the thick foam gasket. But I don't think that's it's not really that necessary, it's just for completeness. <laughs> 